What's happening, homie? Yeah, no, that's the shit. How's your own your shit? Coming? How's that? Elite. How's that? Uh, how's the that? truth? Is that what you're calling it? Yep. <laughs> motherfucker is distilling his own whiskey and he's calling it the truth. Yeah. Ah, hey. You can't handle Scotty the truth. Scotty Griffith. The hey. truth. You can't handle the <laughs> truth. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Special wait. shot glasses. Like oh, should I like that? From a... Be my guest. From mm -hmm. a milk farm. What the hell do they call those milk farms? A dairy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dairy. <laughs> what a milk call? farm. What he's are they calling a milk farm? Gentlemen. <laughs> so, <coughs> oh, so if that was an eight hundred dollar yeah. shot, what would I say? All right, right that's now? nice. That's the best one I've had in a long you'd time. You'd say, or whatever, a sixty dollar shot. You'd say, ready? You go. Mm, that's good, hooch. <laughs> You, you never went to Boston with us, right? Nope. To shoot any of this stuff. You were all Toronto. All Toronto. But remember, I had to go and then come back and then come back. What did you, what, you so you went, what, for the bar scene and you came back for the toilet? Yeah. No, the yeah. toilet was my first day of shooting. Freeze, you fucking artist, faggots! Ah! fuck up! God! Your fucking hands off! Come there, son! I'm on the back! Stop. You know why I fucking come here? I come here to kill you. But now, I don't think I fucking kill you. I kill your brother. The toy so then you came back to the bar scene? Yeah. Oh, wow. The toilet was my very first that. day of shooting. Yeah, I was uh, there for five out of the seven weeks of shooting. Seven weeks of shooting, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, uh, yeah, I was 30, there. It was th like 32 days. Yeah, I was there for five out of the seven weeks. And a, a third wheel most of the time. Just having a good time. Third wheel. In the early 1900s, it was legal for men to beat their wives as long as they used a stick no wider than their thumb. I know this dialogue verbatim. Yeah? Oh man, I read how many different versions of this script did I read? Uh, seven? Like a lot. Yeah. Seven different versions you, you, of this? You were like a go-to guy for me, like fucking Scotty, read this. I loved, I loved. Even while I was like, writing when it. When the post-its were on the garage wall. Yeah. Or excuse me, the, the studio, studio wall. wall. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. And this was one of the filthiest places I ever saw in my life. I know, I loved it. That's why I, that's why I chose that spot. I was like, this is this oh. is downtrodden sort of illegal loft stuff. Bill amazing doing all this and doing dailies on set. Oh. Doing dailies you know that on his set. Child, his child was conceived. Yes, two, I know. Two Welby Circle was the address of the house. And right. He named his daughter. His, her middle name is Welby. No, it's not. That's that a is. legend. That's not true. It I is. wanted it to be. It's not. That's what he told me. Alex, your middle name's not Welby. There, he's got several daughters. <laughs> he's got two. I'm going to have to close down the, the, the bar. Well, the, the Russians are buying up buildings all over the town, including this one. Fuck! Ass! Oh, Gerard's gone. He's left us. Yeah, he has. Did you know that he was also uh, played Doc on Fraggle Rock? Yeah, that I didn't know that till after I hired him. I never watched Fraggle Rock. So amazing, kid. yeah. Uh, but then everybody kept telling me that, and his, his character name was Doc, and I started looking it up, and I was like, oh my god. And by the way, he was just wonderful with children and stuff, and that whole thing was great. He was great, period. But this is like, this is like taking his Fraggle Rock character and just... And, uh, just slapping going, it across the face with a with giant a hard cod. R. Hard R, bro. <laughs> hard R. He's, he's, he picked up a Teletubby, and he bitch slapped it. <laughs> oh, he, was, he, was, he was so good at this, though. Oh, I don't he know. was awesome. He came in to audition for another role. The Ooh. guy, remember the guy in the um, in the meat packing plant that looked and said, "Oh, that uh, guy." Uh, that was there. just some guy you uh, cast there in Toronto. Yeah, yeah, they were both guys I cast in Toronto. But he came in to read for him, and I was like, "Read for Doc. Can you do like a like you got Tourette's and stammer?" And he did, and I was like, "He's got the thing. We're done today. Let's go." You you cast Yakovetta. I was sitting there as as you as he did his audition. I was sitting at the same dining table. 
Carlo was oh, great. Yeah, Carlo was bunny. great. Ooh. As soon as he started in with that shit, when he said, you insignificant, insignificant. I'm like, oh, that's the guy. Uh, he, snuck, <laughs> he snuck the C word in. Yes. They can't, they can't edit that out. Yes. I am Yvonne Chekhov, and you will be closing now. You got that deep ass voice. You'll be closing <laughs> now. You told me I couldn't show any emotion. Like, <coughs> well, he fucking nailed that. Whatever I said was the right thing. Chekhov. Well, this here's McCoy. We find a Spock. We got us an away team. <laughs> That's one of the best lines. <laughs> And you're all, <laughs> wait, 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 stop, back that up. What? Wait, I want you guys all to see Duffy stick his finger right up in my grill. Uh, it's so slow, slow, slow and missed. I remember when I, when I first did this, uh, the, you had that massive uh, script reading that was a really, really big deal that was make or break for this. Yeah. And you did that script reading and I, uh, uh, Rocco wasn't even in that reading. Yeah. Uh, Chafee and me, I think, were the only two in that reading that wind up wound up actually making the film. Thank well, you. Well, Rocco the, did too. Thank you, by the know. way. Yeah, but Rocco didn't probably. do the reading. Yeah, I know he did. Yeah. Anyway, I um, I remember when you gave me like just a bunch of different things to do. Yeah. One of them was the Russian dude. So like mm -hmm. I had never even tried to voice a Russian accent. Yeah, before. but I mean, at that time you were just like we were in my living room. I didn't know you weren't you weren't thinking this is actually going to be a movie. Oh you no, you were just bro, like like reading just, your friend's script and you yeah, had ten helping, roles. Yeah, I gave I you ten roles. Yeah, I was just helping you out. Uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, technically, yeah. why I hired you wasn't only that I you know I, I knew you enough to know that you were you were just you would be a terrific actor. Period. And there's not a lot but of people. But when you did that, I was like. Holy shit! He can do all those, but but we had already done like a bunch of acts. Yeah, and we were talking had already time. come out, and we were right. like, and and swing blade, and we were still doing all that. Why, why, why? why? We made no, <laughs> no. Why? I mean, it was always just a thing. We are here today. <laughs> we why? may never know. Right. Yeah. Well, so like like I remember grabbing that initial accent for that reading from a Looney Tunes character. <laughs> Named really? Bruno the Magnificent, you know, voiced by <laughs> Mel Blanc, you know, and you know, you shitting me. Bruno the Magnificent. <laughs> Am I not the Magnificent? <laughs> and, and that's really like I grabbed the accent from that. All right, and know then what it appeared to like to me during that read because I remember that that was a living room read when we were on Stearns. I remember that because I was like, uh, holy shit. He could do an awesome Russian accent. Like, I just bought the whole thing. Yeah. And I was like, wow, that'd be great. And by the way, I happen to know how virtually indestructible you were at that time. I'm like, <laughs> I have to actually drop a fucking toilet on this guy's fucking head. And I know that Scotty's gonna fucking... In the it, day. Scotty would go into a fucking uh, uh, an induced coma <laughs> before he was like, I'm gonna take out an insurance thing. I'm, just, I'm suing the production. <laughs> you know? Like, I would I was like, he, he, I would You not. would do anything for me at that point. We loved each other, but That's I was like a, fucking... So now I got like a, a twofer. I have a fucking tough guy I know that can fucking take this because I'm totally gonna have to drop a couple toilets on his head. He can really kill this accent. And you're huge. Yeah. You know, right out of frame are Duvetyn curtains. Yes. Protecting the entire film crew yes. and all the stuntmen. Everybody's sitting there watching you get fucked. Right, yeah. See my head? See yep. that red streak? That's where that... And there's a ladder over here where yeah. they threw that thing. It's right. like a 20-foot ladder. They threw it down on feet. you. The first one was 25. The last one, you remember they made them put an extension? Yeah, because I, I said it wasn't looking good enough. Yeah, because it came down and... I remember this. Watching this footage in editing and seeing Don Carmody come flying in. Oh, no, that was later. That was later. Yeah, no, th that was this actual shot. <laughs> because we did 17 of these fucking shots. I dropped that toilet on your head a lot of times. Three times. He comes on set in the middle of this, like before we do the stunt for the third time. And he's like, hey, Troy, what's going on? I'm like, fucking Don, just you know, let me do this. And he's like, well, what are we doing? I'm like, we're doing the fucking toilet thing. And he looks up and he sees the dude with the fucking toilet <laughs> on the thing. He's like, so you, you're doing the, and I'm like, action! And the fucking thing comes down, right? And he's looking at the monitor. And he sees the thing hit your head. And he's like, oh my God. He, think, he thinks that I'm dead. He thinks that the entire fucking set has gone completely bonkers. Yeah. And because he's the big producer that yeah. hasn't been there, that you are inches from death. Yeah. 
his hands came in in editing <laughs> in this shot because he went through the fucking Dermatine yeah. curtain. And it was like, oh my God. Yeah. And I remember he showed up right next to you. Yeah. He's like, oh my God, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? And you maintained your position. You were like, Don, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> and he was like, uh, you like, you literally didn't move. I, was a, I had a hell of a good time. Man. It was one of the best times of my life. <laughs> That's one of the best times of my life, too. Yeah, well, I...